a praise to a higher shah, a higher Bashem Bishaya, Wah Wah. This is Shabar Israel, and this is Signs of the Time. I was praying to the Most High about what He showed me last night concerning judgment, and He put the moon inside. It is almost Shalom, nine o'clock, Israel. and there you have it. And there is something now in the air. To swing around and get the, sun. the Bible calls it redemption. And there's the sun. So there is no need to Time cry. is very short Look in the up, east. Your Time is very short here in the Draw west. For as lightning cometh out of the east and to the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. You have about three months until total destruction takes place from the east unto the west. Chicago will be the first to fall. Jamestown, Virginia, the last standing. And as always, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and to drink from the fountains of living water, let the being just steal. And the bride say, Come, Messiah, you come, a kingdom come. Oh, Amen. Environment Canada has issued weather warnings in all four Atlantic provinces. A nasty early winter storm is moving through the region, bringing with it some high winds. Here's what it looks like in Nova Scotia. You can see it's an ugly mix of rain and wet snow right now. Many roads, many schools are closed. Later today, some parts of the province could get as much as 25 centimeters of snow with winds reaching 100 kilometers an hour. That same storm system is also hitting New Brunswick. More than 36,000 customers there are currently without power. People were up early this morning clearing snow from their driveways. I can tell you schools are closed in several parts of the province. Snowfall warnings are in place for eastern New Brunswick, which could get up to 15 centimeters of snow. And we've got some new pictures from Prince Edward Island. It is also a slushy, slippery mess there. The English and French school boards are both closed. The winter storm has restric restricted travel on uh, Confederation Bridge and canceled flights out of Charlottetown, so best to check before you go. The big story right now, however, you saw those trees down, the lines down, it's the power outages. CBC's Brett Ruskin is tracking that angle from Halifax. Well, the weather isn't too bad right now on the East Coast. I mean, you wouldn't want to have a picnic out here, but it's gusty and windy, certainly not hurricane strength winds. But the main story is the power outages. Right now, Nova Scotia is seeing the worst power outages that this province has seen since Hurricane Juan back in 2003. The big number that we're looking at here, the peak outage was 249,000 customers. That's of the total 500,000 customers that use Nova Scotia power. And uh, so half of Nova Scotia at one point didn't have electricity. You take a look at other provinces, you had 50,000 customers of the 80,000 customers on Prince Edward Island without power and then 44,000 customers of 355 or so thousand on or in New Brunswick. So New Brunswick faring a little bit better. So you take a look, half Nova Scotia power in the dark, two-thirds of uh, Prince Edward Island in the dark, and about one-eighth of those customers in New Brunswick in the dark. Schools are closed here. There are uh, malls closed. CBC Nova Scotia was on backup power in the newsroom. Um, there's even a Twitter feed, a thread that was going around with people sharing different options to get their morning coffee. So overall, not the worst weather that we've seen here on the East Coast, certainly, but a very serious power outage here in the Maritimes. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, Halifax. Shalom, Israel. This is Shabbat. And there is something in the air. Can you feel it? The Bible calls it redemption, so there's no need to cry. Look up, your redemption draweth nigh.